Hey YouTube, I'm back. I um been traveling. This is actually my first drive on Beta 10. Uh, so I'm gonna try some unprotected lefts here. See if we can get some perspective on how this uh, build is doing on these uh, highway cross traffic scenarios. Basically, I've got a route over here to the left. It's crossing about 45 to 55 mile an hour traffic. Um, We'll see if we can render this a good test. Here we go. All right, the creep line needs to scoot forward a little bit. Just starting to get where I can see. All right, just starting to get Needs to go a little bit further out if it's going to creep. Definitely a different creeping behavior. It doesn't look like it's going to the left. Plenty of room. This should just go. All right. All right. It bailed on me. Okay. I'm not sure why it bailed there. Um, it was wide open. Might have been the median. In any case, um, I'll see if uh, we can get another shot. Okay, here we go again. Uh, I do have some lead cars this time, which may present an interesting situation. I'm still not sure why my screen is not expanding. Normally that was only when I had the music up, the screen wasn't expanding. I definitely have the setting correctly for expanded visualization. In any case, we've got a left turn programmed in the planner, creeping forward for visibility. Definitely a different creeping behavior for me. It's definitely feels like it's trying to inch a little bit, but okay, it needs to stop and take a look there. Okay, good, it stopped. Uh, oh, wait, it should be clear now. I'm leaning forward as far as I can. Now I can see a car coming. It needs to stop or, okay, there, it needs to stop. And now that poor guy had to go around me. Um, so that was not good. It had the gap, but it went too late. Um, I can't wait to see what the visualization shows because I was not looking at the screen there. Um, for those of you that, you know, think about, you know, I was leaning up here by my eyes were at the steering wheel, which I can measure it, but it's at least two feet, 20, 20 to 24 inches in front of the B pillar position that I was using to get that extra uh, angle of perspective where I saw the car with my eyes. Um, but to that, that point also, for that car in that closest lane, um, he was probably beyond 80 meters, which is the stated range of the camera. Uh, anyway, we'll try it again. All right, left turn programmed in the planner, coming out to the intersection. Still got the shrunken display I'm gonna have to solve here. Okay, I'm way behind the stop line at the moment. Shouldn't have made that stop there. There's the stop line. It's creeping. Okay, I'm leaning forward. Okay, there's a car in the right lane. It needs to goose it if it's gonna go. All right, now it's too late. At least it waited. He had to kind of go around me a little bit. Okay, it needs to wait. Wow. That car that's passing me right now tapped his brakes. Okay, there's a large gap now if it wants to go to the median. Okay, it chose that one correctly. See if it goes all the way. Hey, all right, and then left lane. All right, it did it. Um, it found a gap. Fortunately, it did not have to wait in the median and it may have known that. Uh, and it went all the way out and across. So, while it was uncomfortably close when it was going out, I. I think it was probably pretty close to the line, but not across the line. Uh, so we'll call that one a uh, successful unprotected left there. I definitely felt the extra boost also. Okay, here we go again. Stopping again a little bit far behind the stop line. Okay. It 
it just went for it without visibility that time. It could have made it all the way across, but there was no way it saw this traffic, whether it was there or not, as I could not. Um, so I'm going to call that one a bust. I, since I'm still in position and there's nobody behind me, I'll uh, reset. All right. Here we go again. Okay, a little far back from the stop line again, so it needs to do the slow creep. I can't see anything. It needs to go for stop. Okay, there. Car is starting to creep in there. Okay, I'm leaning way forward, and these lane, cars just in the right lane are just starting to peek around this fence. It needs to creep another two or three feet. Okay, it's going for it. It was a good gap there. It was a, okay. It could not make it uh because of that car in this right lane i don't know exactly how it would have handled if i didn't stop it when i did uh, but it was going without decelerating into the median um, on that one while it did cross the first half correctly it didn't get into the median appropriately I, i'm gonna snapshot that one it was a little late of a snapshot but we'll see what that one looked like in post-production Here we go again. Way far back from the stop line. Needs to creep. Needs to slowly creep. Okay, there's cars coming. It needs to wait. Okay. There's a nice gap here on both sides. Should go right now. Pregnant pause. It's clear in the left lane. It did it. Okay. So, another successful one. Give the car a little path there. The opposite side was wide open. It waited on a gap, a rather large gap on the, on the uh, closest side. Um, it did not go as soon as it could. It, it was hesitant to go into the gap, but it, it had a large gap to work with. Here we go again. See what we got this time. All right, way back from the stop line. Way back, too far back. But as long as it slowly creeps, that's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, it needs to stop or slower, slowly creep. Misidentified cyclist there on the screen. Okay, there's some traffic. I'm leaning way forward. Okay, now there is traffic. It needs to wait. It needs to wait. It needs to wait. Okay. Those cars that are opposing here were tapping their brakes. Okay, now there's a large gap right now. It can't go all the way. Ah, all right, there's a car coming. I had to get out to the right because it was too far into the lane. Um, okay, so that one, it did the unfortunate situation of waiting in the middle of oncoming traffic for the other side to clear. It can't wait there. It has to go to the median. Um, so that was unfortunate. You know, if I'm gonna critique this right now, my comments are, it feels a little bit like it's trying a little harder, but it just doesn't quite have the timing yet to make aggressive decisions. Uh, and I don't know that it honestly has the tool kit or the tool to go into a median and wait on the other side. I feel like it needs both sides to be open to succeed right now. But, uh, you know, that's just my perception with just a short drive. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can get a, a couple more in. Okay, this time I've got a car in the median. So I think it should wait on that car for sure. Okay, now it needs to wait and look. Okay, it needs to stop. There's opposing traffic coming. It's 
kind of a very small gaps here. And I do have a pedestrian here to the right. Is she gonna go behind me? Okay, she's, I had to disengage because it was creeping and she went in front of me there. So I'm gonna try to re-engage here. Got another car in front now, so it needs to wait on her right away. Okay. Okay, I had to take over there because of this car that you can't see probably because uh, it was stopping instead of going 90 degrees into the median. Um, my impressions are it still does not have the timing required to make an aggressive uh, left turn across two sets, two lanes of traffic. It needs both the uh, oncoming and the other opposing traffic to be clear to do it successfully. It doesn't know how to wait in the median yet. Uh, that scenario where it, you know it it tries to wait into the traffic versus find a safe spot to continue. Uh, that's going to be tough because every median is not the same. Um, so hopefully we can continue to tweak this and get some better tools. But in any case. That is round one of Unprotected Lefts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Appreciate you guys waiting for this video. Have a great day.